Hi guys, <clears throat> we are still not in labor yet. It's gonna be very echoey in here. I'm in the bathroom. We already have our rugs and stuff in here, but I guess that's just how a bathroom is. We are gonna be going to lunch today, which is right near the hospital, so in case we need to. But I thought I would hop on here and like, I'm literally not even gonna edit this video. I'm just gonna film it and put it up. Um, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a quick update, show you the bump, get your opinion. I'm also gonna put a little bit of makeup on. Um, my husband calls this motorcycle makeup. So when I got my motorcycle license, I, um, <laughs> I was like, what, how am I gonna like put a helmet on? Cause it like squishes your cheeks. Um, and I was like, I wanna look like a hot babe on a motorcycle, you know? And I feel my best when I have a little bit of makeup on and like my hair is done and everything and like hair, forget it, and helmet. And so he's like, oh, you do like, you do like, um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare first. He's like, you do motorcycle makeup. And I was like, what the hell is motorcycle makeup? And now that's what he refers to as just like a little bit of mascara. Um, but I just got my lashes done actually for, for me, but for him, he's like, you know, that's some, oh my gosh, squirrel. He's like, that's something that girls spend money on that guys actually notice. And I'm like, okay, noted, noted. I like that you're telling me what you like. Um, this is the City Beauty Uplift Firming Serum. I have been using this religiously and my skin has like never been softer and just like more hydrated and just really nice overall. Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, motorcycle. So that's what we're doing today. We're just doing like a little bit of brows, a little bit of highlight, nothing too fancy. <clears throat> I've been sleeping on my side a lot lately. So this area has been getting very wrinkled. So I've got, this is almost like gone. This is the Invisicrate Body Balm. Um, it helps with like crepey skin and just dry skin overall. So I've been actually putting this on my hands because I have been noticing a little bit of crepiness on my hands. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. Anyways, so pregnancy business. I posted the other day on Instagram. I thought, not yesterday, but the day before, I thought, I thought that might be the day that I actually went into labor for a few different reasons. Um, I had, I started losing pieces of my mucus plug and a mucus plug is basically a protective little thing that is up in your cervix and as your cervix dilates it kind of loosens and comes out to prepare you for labor do your own research don't quote me but that's what i remember looking up about it and it's generally like a light pink kind of look um mine was actually kind of a darker red and now today there's some light pink in it a big old chunk just came out the other day and some of you asked me on Instagram, you're like, how do you know it's your mucus plug? Cause you get a lot of discharge and sometimes you bleed a little bit after sex or whatever. Um, and actually sex is how this got jiggled loose. <laughs> but um, usually when you have sex and it comes out in your, your discharge or whatever, discharge is a completely different consistency. Um, a mucus plug is like almost like egg whites. It's kind of like, a, it's like, Oh, I should have brought a brush for this, would have been a little easier. <laughs> um, it, uh, this is, by the way, the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Focus. We're not editing this, so focus. There we go. Um, it's almost like those little sticky hands that you used to get at those like little vending machines and like stick to the window. It's kind of like that. It's like, a, it's like somebody said this and then Nick said it and I was like, yes, it's basically a vaginal loogie. Um, and it's kind of gross. I also hate the words mucus plug. I think it's pretty nasty sounding, but it is what it is. Um, the thing about it coming out is it doesn't really mean anything except that in the next few weeks, you're going to have a baby, which we already know because I'm 38 weeks and three days right now. So, um, I looked it up and it basically said like, it's like I, I could potentially go into labor hours from now, days from now, or even a couple weeks. But that mixed with some other stuff that was going on the other day may, led me to believe that it was a lot sooner and it is a lot sooner than maybe a couple weeks. So I felt like my belly, like I felt like the baby got a lot lower um, a day ago. So I'll show you that right now. I'm curious what you guys think. Cause like, I just can't tell anymore. Like the baby kind of moves a lot. Like right now the baby is face down, I can, or head down, but the baby also has gone kind of like sideways too, but then moves back. So this is, this is the belly right now. I don't know 
if the baby looks any lower today or not. Maybe not. I don't know. But I definitely felt the baby like drop lower the other day. And then yesterday um, I had some diarrhea, which is kind of another little sign, a little stomach ache. And so I was like, maybe this is the day. So I lost even more of my mucus plug. Um, uh, this is the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You guys remember when I used this on my face like it was um, foundation? That was pretty funny. Uh, <clears throat> so I had all of that going on. And my guess for the baby coming is actually today. Like we wrote our guesses down in the baby book. And <clears throat> I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer today just for, I guess we're doing a little more than motorcycle makeup. Motorcycle makeup doesn't typically include face makeup, he told me. <laughs> but I've got a little bit of an uneven skin tone, so yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of this. Um, so yeah, my guess was August 17th, and today is August 17th, so we'll see. Um, the baby's due date is August 28th, in case you didn't know. So we're a little, a little ways away from it, but I don't know, that's, that's kind of what's going on. So I'm starting to feel like it's coming pretty soon, if not in the next couple days. And my parents are actually coming out on Saturday, and by parents I mean my stepmom and my dad, and my mom is coming out on my actual due date. And my stepmom and my stepdad will be going back to Arizona. So that's kind of what's going on. I would love to hear from you guys like what your labor looked like. Like my water hasn't broken yet or anything like that. Some some women never have their water break. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I am about to finish my nurse bags today, which I didn't know was a thing. I mean, it makes, oh, I forgot a blush brush. Oh well. This is the Morphe 2 Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse. I don't know if I've, I'm just gonna use this. I don't know if I've ever used this before. It's a pretty color. Um, so what was I saying? I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, cool, 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 cool. That's basically my brain right now. Oh, the nurse baskets. So I didn't really know that was like a thing until I saw it in someone's vlog the other day. And I was like, oh my gosh, that makes a lot of sense. So I texted my friend who is a postpartum nurse and I was like, is this something you guys actually like or is this something that basically people bring and it's like shit you don't want and you just have to like drag it home, you know? And like, you know what I mean? It's just like more crap to deal with. And she was like, she responded so fast and she was like, no, people that make bags for the nurses or get us like pizza she was like they quickly become our favorite patients and i was like all right say no more so um that video will probably be up after this one because i think i'm gonna put this one up like right away like today T today today if, if i did then it's currently if you're watching it the day it goes up it should be thursday <laughs> is it thursday yes uh so so anyways, um, I ordered some stuff off of Amazon and I'm showing you guys in, it'll be a closet organization or closet, moving into my new closet video. Um, and I'll put in there too, like sh I went shopping yesterday for those bags. <clears throat> so hopefully they're appreciated and they like them and they turn out cute. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys like, oh, this is the refi, what is this? It's just the refi, that's upside down. Refi, Ugh. can you focus on something that close to you? I don't know. Um, refi brow pencil, but I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think? Do you think my belly is lower? Do you have any predictions? How, if you are a mama, how did your labor go? Did like your mucus plug come out and then you went into labor? Like I wanna hear all your stories, so let me know how that panned out for you. Um, Cause I know somebody messaged me and they're like, oh, my mucus blood came out and then I didn't go into labor for two weeks. So that very well could be me, but I kind of just thought 
it was happening the other day because, or pop, you know, around there this week sometime because of all the stuff together. That's a hot lady. <laughs> What's up, hot lady? Uh, not too much. What are you doing? Organizing your closet? Huh? Are you organizing your closet? No, I was actually going to move the bench to the under the TV so we could put the bassinet, bassinet at the end of the bed. Oh, that's a good idea. And then uh, trying to organize those like blankets and pillows and I don't know. I, don't know, I, don't know. I put up the. Mm -hmm. Did you see the new? Um... Come here. Did I see the new what? Did you see the new night lights? No, I've been sitting here since you put them in. Oh, they look cool. Do you? What did you call it the other day that came out? Come, come, come. Don't be shy. Get on camera. You call that a vagina loogie? <laughs> I think I said pussy loogie, but... <laughs> you can't say that on YouTube. Oh. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the snatch loogie? Snatch loogie. I'm glad that didn't come out in your mouth the other day when you were down there. That would have been pretty gross. Yeah. I guess that's what you meant when you were like, eh, there's things coming out of that. <laughs> None of it had come out by that point though. What is your guess for, what was your guess again for um, baby due date or baby birth date? Uh, you thought the baby was coming on, what was your, we're gonna have to look back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'll have to look, I wanna say this is the 25th. 25th. This is the Grande Brow 2-in-1, it's like a brow serum and Oh, that's the same one I use. It keeps your eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> We're kind of doing motorcycle makeup, but I put a little bit of like actual face makeup on, so we cheated. So you put lights in, you want me to come see him? Yeah. Okay. Um, one can't make it tomorrow. He can come out Saturday from 11 to 12. Mm. Oh yeah, I need to put a little bit of this on. That's annoying, but okay. I was hoping he could come earlier rather than later, so now that he's pushing it back, that's... Can you ask him what the fabrication time will be for the slabs since they're smaller? Like, is it going to be a two week situation again? Oh, uh, awesome. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Well, um, did, did you tell him that we're going to come by today? Pick out the no, slabs? No, I just, I, he never takes me back, so. Oh, gotcha. Okay. We can just ask him if they want to go there. Okay. So there's my makeup. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna go look at the lights that he just installed and I will keep you guys updated. I will most likely be putting a very candid video like this up when I actually go into labor too, because I don't, well, depending on when it happens, because I don't have time today or the next couple days to take a, like, you know, okay, if you're watching this, I'm in labor and look how cute I look right now. Um, I don't have time to do that right now. So, I might just put up another one like this. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments and hear like about your experiences and like what you think. Let's take one more look at this bad boy and see if, let me tilt you guys down a little bit. See if the baby looks any lower. I can't tell. Hey, um, do you think this looks any lower or no? Do I look the same? Yeah, boobs look great. There's also something else I wanted to talk about that I totally forgot about, um, just real quick. Uh, so I, I need to brush these bad boys out. Um, I went to the doctor for the first time since 15 weeks, just for personal preference and also that they had literally no appointments. So I went to the doctor and I actually didn't even meet the doctor. Um, I think I met with like a nurse or I don't actually know what her title was, truth be told. And pretty much only found out that <laughs> the baby is head down, which is a great thing. So that was good news. Uh, but other than that, I didn't learn anything. They didn't really do like um, an ultrasound on like any of those like really high tech, nice machines or anything. So, um, that was kind of it and they were like all right well come back for your like weekly appointments um so that was like all that happened at that appointment i was pretty surprised i actually thought they were going to be doing like maybe more and like maybe we learn more i don't know it was weird i also thought maybe i was going to like meet the doctor like i didn't meet my doctor i don't even know who my doctor is <laughs> um honestly from my experience with my first born 
it doesn't even matter who the doctor is. <laughs> like they literally come in at the very last minute and like sometimes they don't even make it. So I don't know, but <clears throat> that's what happened to the doctor. Pretty much a whole lot of nothing. Um, they wanted me to do the glucose test, but I don't really want to, so I'm not going to. Um, I did tell them I would do the finger prick one, uh, so we have to pick all that up, I guess. But honestly, I think that maybe the baby's gonna be coming before any of that even gets done. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm still getting over this like little like cold situation. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, you know what I wanna put on too? I wanna show this to you guys, this is really pretty. So this is the Kopari Rose Gold Sunshield Body Glow SPF 45. This stuff is like, I don't know if you can see like how marbly and like pretty it is. Um, it's, I love it. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. I feel like you put this on and it is like just so um, shiny and pretty, but like also not too greasy feeling like oil and see that. And it just like, like protects your skin. The pictures that I have up, that I put up, um, with Harlow and I standing in front of my pool. Um, this is what I have all over my body and like my legs and stuff. It just looks really pretty. So I've been using this a lot. They have different shades. I've got like a more yellow one up there too. Um, like look how pretty that is. I feel like I need to put more highlighter on my face now. You guys ever see that where someone has like their chest like completely highlighted to like freaking the gods, but then their face is like matte. It's like, honey, you missed a step. <laughs> I have no room to talk. I've literally walked out in public with not blended bronzer and taken photos. Do you guys remember that? That was cute. All right, I'm gonna go grab a snack before we take off in a little bit. I'm starving. We gotta pick Piper up from the groomer as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Um, I have so many freaking videos to edit. I just realized that. So I'm really gonna, that's gonna be a goal in the next few days. And a priority is to get like all of my videos edited and like ready to go on YouTube so that when baby comes, I can have like a little break. Um, even though I think I am actually gonna be filming, um, not necessarily to like work and put content out, but I want it for like my own video, video diaries. Like I really wanna do like the first 24 hours with the baby. like. Obviously I want to film the birth and then when they're born, I want to like have the first 24 hours with our baby like made into a video. So I think I'm gonna do that. But if you guys are interested in seeing that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Um, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get notified when I'm in labor. It'll be on Instagram and you know, all the stuff, but um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.